Stem cell research has been a hot-button issue in Congress lately. Today we'll be discussing legislation that Mr. Forbes recently introduced into the House that he says will put patients first. What exactly is this legislation and how is it going to put patients first? Well, Tunisia, you know, uh, stem cell research is a big issue across the country. Uh, we hear it a lot. And it normally, one of the things that we find is when we go to different groups, we find that people don't know really very much about stem cell research. They just think somehow or the other it may help somebody. There are some groups that have been opposed to certain types of stem cell research and some people that have run ads saying this is what we need to do and we need to spend a lot of money doing this research. The the reality is that stem cell research has a great deal of promise in helping a lot of illnesses for people today, especially when we look at situations like heart problems, diabetes, Parkinson's disease. There are three big ones, but there's a host of other ones that can be helped. The other reality is that the debate that's taken place has been divisive because there have been a lot of people that have tried to focus the energy on embryonic stem cell research. Embryonic stem cell research is the one m many people think is unethical and has unethical uh, means of uh, doing the research that's necessary. On adult stem cell research, virtually everybody agrees that's okay to do, and that actually has shown our most promise. And so what we have done with the Patients First Bill is saying this. My father had Parkinson's disease, um, and he took 22 pills a day and macular degeneration of the retina and emphysema. He ultimately died from the Parkinson's. My brother currently has Parkinson's disease, so it's important for me, as it is for many people, that we find cures to these illnesses. And if you think about it, and we just stop back and you say, how do we do it? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to get as much money uh, as we can to do the kind of research we need to do. The way you do that is not by dividing people, but it's by bringing them together. The second thing we want to do, we want to do it in an ethical manner. But the third thing is we want to put the money where we're going to get the most bang for our, our buck. What this bill does is says, let's stop the screaming and stop the partisanship and stop the politicizing of this issue. And let's, for a change, put patients first. And we send a, ma a message to the National Institutes of Health to say, let's laser in and focus our research in the areas that have the most likelihood from an evidentiary basis of near-term clinical benefits for our patients. When you do that, it's clear, though, that there's one type of research, and that's adult stem cell research, that one, it's the most ethical, two, can unite the most people for the most dollars to go to funding, and three, has the most near-term opportunities for us to have these treatments. In fact, we have 72 diseases today that have been cured from adult stem cell research or at least an opportunity to cure them. We have hundreds of patients that have fixed heart problems that um, no one thought could be fixed. We have patients that no longer take insulin from because they've had stem cell um, work done with them for diabetes. The promise is enormous. On the other side, if I put a chair here today and I said put all the evidence all the diseases that have been cured from embryonic stem cell research, not one would come in there. So this bill uh, just says, let's use facts, let's use evidence, let's get this research done so we can cure these people and give them a better quality of life. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.